Podcast with meteorologist Beverly Perry, only on Fox 47 Morning News at 7. Temperatures yesterday surged into the upper 70s and then late in the evening and through the overnight hours, some showers and thunderstorms rumbled across the region. Some gusty winds and some small hail was reported, especially on the uh, western fringe of our viewing area and off towards uh, Lake Michigan. But overall, as you can tell, we're stuck under the cloud cover and that's basically what we're going to be dealing with through a good portion of the day today as well as some fog and we also have some patchy drizzle out there too that's not being picked up on radar. Half a mile visibility right around the Lansing Metro. Jackson, you've improved to a mile visibility and two and a half miles in Owasso. We're going to continue to improve these visibilities as the day wears on, but do keep in mind we do have a dense fog advisory in place until 11 o'clock from Ionia and Clinton counties as far south to Jackson counties. And again, that expires at 11 o'clock. As far as temperatures go, if you notice, quite the temperature contrast. Hillsdale at 60 degrees and we have Ithaca at 39, 44 in Lansing, 46 in Charlotte. Jackson, you're currently at 50 degrees. Some of us are seeing a north wind and for those folks, they're much cooler. Like I showed you in the southernmost counties, they haven't seen the wind shift yet, so they're still staying on the warmer side of things. But this north wind will become more northeasterly, but overall it's going to continue to pump in some cool air for us. So yes, temperatures are going to be quite a bit cooler than what we had yesterday. Mostly cloudy skies through the 10 o'clock hour, only in the upper 40s. Lower 50s by noon, maintaining that northeasterly breeze. And by 5 o'clock, a stark difference from what we had yesterday. We're only looking at temperatures right in the mid 50s with a northeasterly breeze. So, yes, it's going to be a cool afternoon for us. There's the storm system. It's barreling up the New England states. We're under the cloud cover, and that's basically what we're going to be dealing with throughout the day today. And the morning hours, just a little bit of that patchy drizzle. Storm activity towards the central plains. They're in for a rocky day. Those folks are going to see quite a bit of severe weather, but for us, we're going to stay on the quiet side of things. Just some morning drizzle and cloud covered going to be dealing with that fog and then it's going to slowly burn off for us. But overall trapped under the clouds, northeasterly wind. And then towards the evening hours, we'll start to peel back this uh, cloud cover just a little bit. Partial clearing as we go into the overnight hours. Temperatures tonight. It's going to be a cold one. We're looking at overnight lows bottoming out in the 30s. So if you've jumped the gun and got some plants and they're outside or they're sitting outside or whatnot, cover them up or bring them inside because we're expecting some patchy frost across the region once you wake up tomorrow morning. That's how chilly it's going to be. And as the day wears on, we're going to see a good amount of sunshine throughout the day. As far as temperatures go, we'll get those temperatures near that 60 degree mark. Once we go into the evening hours, we'll increase that cloud cover. This is all ahead of our next weather maker set to arrive mostly late in the evening, continuing into our day on Thursday, a scattered shower activity. And that's going to continue Thursday, and that's also going to drop our temperatures you know, on the cooler side on Thursday as well. 55 today, mostly cloudy, just some morning drizzle. 34, the overnight low will have partial clearing taking place and patchy frost is possible as we wake up tomorrow morning. Wednesday will rebound to about 60 degrees, increasing our cloud covers as the day wears on. Storm system late in the day, continuing into our Thursday with scattered showers and yes, our high is only in the mid 50s. We rebound our temperatures once again to near that 60 degree mark as we approach the weekend and then the second half of the weekend well, we bring in some scattered shower chances, but you know what? It's kind of expected of the spring months. Some